this is me the boss gamer and today i'm bringing you a new tutorial how to install mods and how to update the mods and how to uh you know how to fix the problems with your load or now let's start with this tutorial this is long waited tutorial for you guys you waited for this video for since long and this is updated video last video i did i didn't explain a lot of things i just show you some of my gameplays here there just showing my mods and that's it i didn't even show you my loader correctly and many people like got a little bit disappointed but this video basically explain everything in detail now the first we starting is uh, tip number one never get excited now this i will give you a few tips guys bear in mind these tips are really really helpful for you guys so let me i tell you this do not get excited i, I know many people especially i have five years experience in mods i playing even skyrim i played fallout 4 i played even the older version of skyrim and when it came 2011 and pc so i have so many experience with mods now the mods in pc are a lot harder and then consoles console all you have to do is just delete the mod and that's it you don't need to do anything all you have to do is just organizing your mods download them organizing if your loader is really good and organized the game will never crashes if you have few conflicting mods the game could crash for you so let me start this number one never get excited do not download any mods you don't need so what tip number one says i saying to you right now do not download any mods you don't need basically oh wait, I, okay i need this three weapon mods you download the three weapon mods and okay i need this two armor mods you just download maybe two armor mods two weapon mods and few visual overhaul mods and that's it you don't download anything i see in people downloading they get really excited just download every single mod in the blizzard.net and after that the game completely fucked i'm completely crashing and you have glitches issues problem i mean i know this mods are you th many people think the mods are easy but mod is not because mod have especially coding special uh scripts now i am for my my game i'm using and pc is a lot harder you have to use loot you have to use finesse for animations you have to use ex ex uh, script extender for that for the my um, um, pc for the special edition now especially this script extender not yet have released but for the fallout 4 has been released long time ago so i'm using that and uh, it's really good but then consoles you don't have that so be careful what you're doing with mods because mods could ruin your game save all this hours you spend in the game and last because i've been there i had this experience before i and pc basically when playing game in pc when you get corrupted or when a mod doesn't work correctly yeah oh it's really big problem you have to go and do clean your uh, game directory then you have to reinstall the mods again you have to start a new game save it's really big headache for especially pcs pc is a lot harder than you think than consoles now if you have if you know what you're doing you have experience yeah you can do it but if you don't know how to mod in pc is a lot better and it's not just about okay i'm going and downloading next nexus manager and do with everything you do it no it doesn't work this way so uh i'm this tutorial is not about pc it's a tutorial about xbox how to download mod for ps4 and xbox so let us start list like i said tip, tip number one don't get over excited and don't download any mods you don't need just download any mod you want and that's it don't just don't waste all the memory and crashing your game T tip number two read the mod description first read the mod description read the mod comments i'm when going to blessed.net or i'm going i was going to nexus nexus is my favorite website when i downloading mod for my pc i always read a description what the mod author saying the mod maker what he's saying this is maybe have a uh, comfortable with other mods maybe it's not uh, the mod requirements how to install the mods they have to read the mod this many of you just skip this through click that subscribe or just download button just downloading the mod and later on he find out he had a lot of problems with mods now let's start with this beautiful tutorial number tip number two like i said i always read the mod description and tip number three i will give you now download the mod have higher downloads what does mean i have to download mod have higher downloads let me show you this unofficial patch skyrim here this have like 17k thousand whatever have higher download when you just uh, right click i have to open it a new page let me show you right now come on load faster 
uh, official pages have like 16,000 people downloaded or rated or whatever. So the first thing is tip number four. I think now I'm tip number four. Do not download any mods have bigger sizes because you want to save up in memory. Maybe there are some good mods coming out there. You want to save some memory in your uh, consoles because uh, you want to other mods. You just download big mods. Just downloads the small mods and mod have higher download this have you see here you see downloads you have like 1 million or something like that so it's really and around half million favorites and I always read the mod description now you see what type of features this have what type of complete log this have and it does is uh, have some bugs now you see here uh, like I said before in tipper number one I think tip, tip number two I don't remember installation requirements now after installing the mod move it to all the way in the top if you load or do not let anything go before it what does mean you have to put it all the way in the top or the game will crash you could cause some uh, unforeseen problems so like I said, many of you just go ahead and click the subscribe button here. Like I said, just add to library or favorite or just download it, whatever. Then your game going to crash or have problems. Now, I ain't seen uh, on my YouTube channel. Basically, one guy came and said, oh, my game keep crashing. I told him, okay, send me your load order. When he sent me the load, uh, when he sent me the load order, it, the game was really, really in big mess. Basically, the I told them, okay, you have this 20 mods, remove that, these 20 mods, completely remove them. Because you don't need these 20 mods, these 20 mods you have right now causing a lot of problems. Then you have to start a new game save, you have to start a new gameplay. I'm sorry, but this is the way to go. Your game completely corrupted because some mods have coding, special scripts, changing the game memory or things, something like that. You will never understand any of these, but the game, basically, the mods changing few things in the game mechanics. And when this happens, your game keep crashing. Then you have to start in fresh new start, fresh mods. You have to reinstall all the mods again and start new games because I've been there. I did that and it really sucks. It's really bad. So then I sent him updated mod list to him. I said, okay, this mods, remove this 20 mods and do exactly I get exactly as I say to you. And he did that. He never had any problems. So now I'm going to show you and uh, xbox how to download the mods and how to organizing mod specifically for xbox one and ps4 ps4 is easy don't do, they don't have many um, weapon mods basically the uh, ps4 using like um, in-game asset doesn't use external assets so yeah so let's head to xbox one now so we are now in xbox so i'm load uh, going to the my uh, loading my loader right now let me i show you exactly how my loader been set up and how it is running really good without crashes as you seen guys i have so many uh, live stream i did so many live stream in xbox never single crash i had as a proof guys i seen that so i have some updates i didn't update any uh, any of these so let me just go to loader as you can see in here uh for the map qualities like uh, map markers texture overhauls and uh, better frame house woods and things like that i mean you have to put it all way in the top as you see guys i don't use unofficial patch now the reason is i know many of you were going to disagree with me i know 100 percent some of you are going to disagree this disagree with me is no uh unofficial patch will not cause any problems you will not uh, crash your game is is working absolutely 100 percent with any mods you're wrong it doesn't work with any mods i mean it could work with 50 mods but there was an unofficial, uh, unofficial patch conflicting at least with with one maybe two mods and maybe this one two mods i'm using it doesn't work very great with an official patch so and uh, many of you are going to defend the official patch but <laughs> like i say i don't use this is my choice this is my opinion uh, even in pc i don't use for special skyrim even in my pc gameplay i don't use an official patch especially that i used it it causing a lot of problems for me so yeah unless you have a, ex a script extender for the pc yeah let's keep pc one way let's not let's talk about pc now i was like i said before 
this is where you put your overhaul textures and down and maps and the quality of things like that in the top then you go down here you see the display enhancements skyrim wendy trees lot and all that you put it top of your list now spells you pull under these you see from top let me show you from top here overhaul and everything then spells here enchantments adding new spells and things like that clocks everything will be in here now under these under the spells you put all the weapons weapons not armors i seen people just do opposite they put the the like i said all your weapons in here like i said before all your weapons here then your all your arm mods now we see i didn't download so many just one two three four only four weapons one like i said you don't need only you need the mods you use like if you really need this uh, this nordic bow if you need this uh, some of the really cool weapon mod just download maybe two or three maybe four that's it you don't need like 10 weapons mod you don't need these trust me it will take too much your memory as you see i have 3.5 gigabytes of the mods i'm using and i have only 1.44 gigabyte left in my free space so do not use too many mods of course now I'm using just few armor mods in here, so few like maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now this is eight, nine. I'm using nine armor mod, but most of them I don't use them. Basically, I don't use any of these. Just basically, I'm going to delete this. I don't use this mod at all and i use this mod i didn't use yet these some of them are even i don't i i'm even i'm guilty of downloading so many mods but i didn't have so many mods so yeah you don't need that basically this is uh, animation for any killing animation you should put it this way you see after that you put your horse now if you don't see any description that that means this mod has been removed from pedestal.net or by removed by by mod author or by mod maker that mean he updating his mod or just completely removed it from this so like that is not showing here in this page and uh, i have uh, wearable lat latrins and uh, i'm using this horse death knight of tamriel horse mod and as you see when i'm going down i have cheat menu in here then all my cheat menus and things like that i put it under the uh, under the what under the armor mods you put all these cheat menus under the uh, armor mod i can see cheat mod potion for ultimate leveling and everything here all the cheat mod under the weapon mod uh, sorry under the armor mod i mean you see uh, everything then all the tweaks and uh, chats and animation under the this uh, cheat mods everything in here then after that effects like hd trees hd leaves HD, hd fire hd and all that rain and snow effects well this is your choice now many people put these in the top of the load order you can do that uh, you will not go and have any problems this is basically my choice i prefer them put them in the mid of this of the load order here uh, this uh, rain and effects the rain effects you have to put it uh, nearly bottom of the load order you don't but fire hd uh hd iv and hd trees and uh these basically one two three and four you can put on the top lot of your loader no problem it will not cause anything this is basically my choice i put them here you can choose put them in the top of the load order you work great no problem this is basically my choice this is my option if you choose this do it as exactly as, as i do if you don't just put on the top it will work 100 percent. i assure you this so uh and has bl uh, blood textures you can use even you can even put this in the top of the loader we will go and have no problems for me i put it here it works great for me here no problem you can put it in the top of the loader no problem it will work great so better rift and performance i recommend this mod really highly because when i get to near the rift and when i get inside the town of the rift and my game just keep lagging really bad like 
frames drop below 20 or something like that so this i recommend gold better rift and performance download it this must need mod for all xbox one users when you're using playing skyrim and mods this is really good really high performance for that using uh, you get better performance in rift and city so it's really good now sounds sounds you put it in here like nearly in bo uh, bottom of the nearly in the bottom of the load order as you can for sounds and fast travel crash now fast travel crash i have this problem in my game basically when i fast travel I keep crashing download this mod is really really great mod this mod called fast travel crash fixes so this is really good if you have like your fast traveling crashes download this mod so i will not put this link of this mod in the description just see it here just go to bethesda.net and download from here because <laughs> it's really good mod then all your animation mods girly animation uh, uh, magic animation and uh, combat animation all in here now as for visual animation changing the the character visual like hair teeth and everything you put it in the bottom of your loader like this the teeth and for the hair and hair colors and your uh, faces and eyes and everything you put it all the way in the bottom in here as you can see here everything you put it here in the bottom and some mods basically use xp32 maximum skeleton realistic so using this this is must have download this you must download this mod it's really really good mods and you have to download some of these mods like beautiful mysteries beautiful mysteries version 2 and female priest basically they use this mods now many of the people saying okay i downloaded this beautiful mysteries but my game keep crashing because this mod need xp 32 maximum skeleton then all my overhaul basically uh overall uh mods basically changing the graphics and visual of the game trees and grounds and skies and everything else here you see here you can download now this slash overhaul uh, no problem you could put it all the way in the top it will work trust me i seen it's work work all, all the way in the top and bigger trees now this bigger tree i have to put it in the bottom it doesn't work project happy in the bottom Beautiful trees in the bottom, like I'm showing here. A grass field, you have to put it all the way in the, in the bottom. This will not work if you put it in the top of the list. Now, uh, dormant weather. Now, do, don't worry about this dormant weather. It will work with vivid weather. Only you can use one. There is uh, uh, overhaul lighting and visual. And there another one dormant weather called natural. You can use only one. You cannot use two. Basically, let's say, okay, I have this dormant weather overhaul lighting and visual and i have another one called natural i use both of them if you bo use both of them you could see some visual glitches or your game will crash do not use only use one with this vivid weather now this landscape fixes for grass in the bottom of the list this is my choice i seen some uh, many people says no i seen some people in youtube i read a few comments he's saying no i i saw some video in youtube People say no, it's opposite side. They put it all the way in top. That is their choice. If they choose to put it in the top, I'm, I'm, would say this is basically optional. If you choose, this is put all this way in the top. For me, it works great in the bottom, so I keep it here, preventing me, uh, preventing my game from crashing. So, uh, vivid weather also in the bottom. Uh, realistic wire tool also in the bottom. So, what this mod is, I don't remember this mod. Many mods I've removed them, but this it doesn't say anything. But uh, superior rocks, dark gray, all in the bottom. You see, I disabled all this mod because if I enable this superior rock with this uh, Skyrim graphics overhaul, it will not work. It cause some conflicting issues. The game will crash, even with Skyland. The Skyland changing the landscape textures. And this will also change the landscape textures, uh, especially rocks. So I can use both of them or I have conflict. Only you can choose one of them, maybe two. I mean, if you get lucky, like let's say I choose this and this only. That's it. I can choose this. It will get, my game will not crash. But you cannot choose this because this change landscape textures. If you use this Skyland, this just uh, disable this one and activate this one. And it will be really easy. 
So this is how you download and organize all your mods. Like as I say, all the visual graphics overhaul, bottom of the, of the loader list in here, all your uh, textures, changing your face or eyes, or whatever, your body, all of them, EMPs and things like that, or UMP mods, you put it in here, especially in this here, in this part of the load order. All your animation and your music, you put it over in here, fixes and things, top of your, uh, nearly in the bottom of your uh, list. And for HD fires and trees and things like that, you can also put it in here, or you can also put it at the top of the list, no problems. And all your cheat menus and, and, and cheat items and things like that under the uh, armor mods and all your armor mods under the weapon mods and weapon mods under all the visual and overall mods basically it's so simple so I'm going slowly from top to bottom then from bottom to the top showing you my load order exactly have been organized so yeah now guys there are no way I can explain to you how to download the mods you have to do it yourself and you, like I said I left few few tips number one to tip number four do not download so many mods and do not download any mods you don't use basically download any mods you want to use and just organize them as you can see in here in my load order and do the same exactly I do the game trust me the game will not have crashes now many of you will have like uh, let's see mods I don't have this mod basically you send me your load order I don't use these mods maybe you have like extra new 10 mods I don't use this 10 mods so I cannot say okay this is your load order this is your list do exactly as same as I do or same I give you to do so I cannot do it because maybe using some mods I don't have these mods so yeah uh, if let's say you using this mods and I don't use these mods well this is your problem not my problem so yeah so guys do not forget to subscribe and like the video if you have any type questions or anything like that just leave them in the comment section any type of question guys about mods or about uh, loader or about anything I like, just leave them that I will read you I will read your comments as soon as I can so do not forget to like subscribe share it with your friends and peace